Hi guys and welcome to another video. Now this video is how to create a USB install media for Mac OS High Sierra. Now this will work with a real Mac, a Hackintosh or a KVM virtual machine. So you can use it for either. And for those of you who follow my channel regularly, yes, there's a new video tomorrow on how to use this to set up High Sierra on your Unraid server. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing to do is to download the file in the description and then let's unzip that. Okay, and also we're going to need a blank USB stick, um, 8 gigs or above. Um, and one thing to just to check before we start is that it's erased and that it has a GUID partition map. That's important that that's GUID. Okay, so using a real Apple Mac, we're going to have to download the Mac OS High Sierra onto that computer. Although this video is about installing High Sierra, it does also work with OS Sierra as well. And once you've downloaded the operating system from the App Store, you'll see it in your Applications folder. You can see here I've got two. I've got Install Mac OS High Sierra and Install Mac OS Sierra. Right, so let's go down to the folder that we downloaded and open that. And inside here you'll see Install Creator and double click Install Disk Creator. Now this is a great program that makes creating an install stick really easy. So if you've got more than one inside your application folder, you can click on choose Mac OS installer here and choose whichever one you want. And obviously I'm installing Mac OS High Sierra. Once we've chosen which Mac OS installer to use, we just need to choose a destination. And here, here's my USB stick which is called Untitled. So we just select that and then all we have to do is click create installer and click erase disk we're going to have to pop in our password and now we can just sit back and relax for a few minutes while this is created um, the author of this software is called MacDaddy.io and you can check their website out here ok and so once it's done this window will come up saying it's complete and we can just click OK and then close the installer and you can see here this is my USB stick and it contains all the installed files we need to boot up on an Apple Mac. Okay, so for all you guys running real Apple Macs, this USB stick is now enough to install it onto any supported machine that will run High Sierra. So all you need to do is plug this in the side of the computer and hold down either the Option or the Alt key and then choose this as the bootable drive. Now some of us are going to want to be installing High Sierra on our Hackintoshes. Or maybe we want to set up a KVM virtual Macintosh. And for that we need to install Clover onto the USB flash drive. So download the latest version of Clover. Um, and at present when I'm making this video it's version 4200. So we need to download that. Okay so once that's downloaded let's put it on the desktop and open up the folder. And let's run the Clover install package and click continue, continue again and now we're going to need to click change install location and here you can see here's the USB flash drive that's on the desktop so that's the location we want to choose to install it and click continue again. Now we need to click on to customize here and we want to install it in the EFI partition for you EFI booting so we need to click the top two like this. Now also we're going to need to select partition DX64 and OSX aptio fix 264 as well. Now let's stop a moment. If you're using a newer version of Clover than I am, because this video is out a few days before the official release of High Sierra, you probably will see some extra options in Clover where you can tick APFS and HFS Plus. Now if you see those there then please tick them. This is what you can see here on the screen is a beta version, but the APFS doesn't work very well in this beta version. That's why I haven't included it in the video. Now until it's included properly in Clover, I'll show you how to add these files manually. So first let's complete this installation by clicking on install, pop in your password. OK and now Clover is installed. Now you can see here the EFI partition has now been mounted on the desktop. So we want to open this and then go in the EFI folder and then into the Clover folder. And here we can see driver 64 UEFI. Let's open that folder. Now let's open up our High Sierra support files again and look in Hackintosh files 
And now you can see here there's an apfs.efi and an hfsplus.efi files. So we want to copy these over across into this folder here. Now what this will do is allow us to boot up the APFS file system in Clover. Now I'm making this video a few days before the official version of High Sierra comes out and I'm sure Clover is going to be updated very soon so we won't have to put these files in. But one thing we are going to definitely need, whichever version of Clover we're running, is we're going to need to install some Kex files in order for it to boot up. So let's open up our EFI partition again and then go into the EFI, into Clover and then into Kex. Now you can see here that for me it stops at 10.12. Now the later versions of Clover will obviously have 10.13 here. So that would be the folder you put the Kex files into. But because I don't have a 10.13, I'm going to need to put my Kex file into this folder here called Other. Okay, so let's open our High Sierra support folder again. Go into our Hackintosh files, and inside the folder Kex here, we've got the fake SMC Kex. Now we're going to need to paste that into here. And now for Hackintosh, that's the end of installing Clover. But one thing I'd recommend is to open up your USB stick and I'm going to copy over these High Sierra support files inside my actual Clover installer. And I'm also going to pull over the Clover folder into that as well. Now this is because sometimes when you create a Hackintosh you won't actually have any network drivers so you won't be able to download Clover when you need to install it later on. And also I suggest put any other Kex files in here that you may need later on for your Hackintosh. OK, and so that's everything you're going to need to install macOS High Sierra onto your Hackintosh. But if you're going to install a KVM virtual Macintosh, then there's a couple more things we're going to put in. So let's actually open up our High Sierra support files again. And there's a folder here called VM Hackintosh Files. Let's open that. And let's go back to our EFI partition again and open that. And then go into the Clover folder. Then the first thing we're going to do is we're going to delete here the config plist. And we're going to copy across the one here in the VM Hackintosh files. OK, and so now we want to go into the ACPI folder and then into the origin folder and we're going to copy across the Q35 ACPI file and cross over into there. OK, good, that's it, done. So our USB stick is now able to boot up macOS High Sierra on a KVM host such as Unraid. And for those of you who want to know how to install macOS High Sierra on Unraid, then please see my video about that. Anyway guys, that brings us to the end of this video, and I hope you found it useful. And if you did guys, then please as always, please hit that like button. And if you're not a subscriber already, then please subscribe to the channel. Anyway guys, whatever you're up to for the rest of the day, I hope it's good and I'll catch you in that next video.